Hello everybody, this is Michael with Mikey Does Outdoors and I'm uh, coming to you with a video for Santa Rosa State Park in uh, eastern New Mexico. Pretty neat place. It was kind of hot so I wouldn't didn't stick around too long but uh, in the middle of the summertime it might not be the best time to go but it was still fun to see the lake. It's a nice place worth going and checking out. Hope you enjoy the video. Hello everybody, this is Michael. This is my campsite at Santa Rosa State Park in New Mexico. Santa Rosa Lake. It's not a bad place. I got there and it was blistering hot, so that might have affected my attitude at the when I was there. But it's a good place. It's pretty cool sunrise. Look at that. I mean, you can't beat that sunrise. And uh, I mean, I spent a lot of time there. But it's it's pretty neat. The it's got a uh, place for RVs. It's got a place for the kids to play. Here's a view from the early morning view from the dam. Uh, so I'll give you a little look at that, because uh, it's it's not bad. I mean, it's it's a place to go and get away from it all, and and they have a huge bit of bank where people like to go swimming and stuff. And so, you know, it's a good inexpensive way to escape the heat if it's hot, which it was in. I just come back from the mountains in Colorado, New Mexico, and uh, and Wyoming and Utah and all that, and. Then come to here and it was 102 degrees. It's almost like getting either slapped or maybe even punched in the face, but it was still good. It's a good place. That's a neat little platform where you can go up the stairs here. And you can see pretty much the whole place. I mean, this is pretty neat. I mean, wait till you see the view of the lake. This is neat. I don't think I've ever seen anybody else do this. We can find a spot and go up on it and see, because there's a dam where we were a few minutes ago. You can see where I'm parked. We'll walk around here in a second. You can kind of get a good look at the lake. But, uh, but there's there's pretty much, you're going to see pretty much the whole lake here. Uh, of course, there's parts around those coves where you can't see good, but they're still there and you can see them. And so it gives you a it's not a great big huge lake, but it's not a teeny tiny lake either. It, and I had met some guys that were going fishing and they say they catch walleye and smallmouth a lot out there. And uh, maybe even some catfish and largemouth as well. But uh, it, and it's probably easier to fish that one in a boat because it's harder to get bank access. You know, unless the people aren't swimming in the swimming holes and that might be okay place for bank access. But it's a uh, it look at it. And I was just going to show you. I went down this way to show you that it's actually handicap accessible. If uh, somebody's handicapped and they want to go up there and take a look, they can. And that's pretty neat. It's not just look out for the people that can walk, but for everybody. I like that. And so they thought of everything when they put that in. There's even a set of restrooms and stuff there, and so, you know, you can, you can do everything you need to right there and see the place or, you know, get an overview. At one place I went to, they had the scenic overlooks, but there are trees blocking the view, and so it's like, you know, it's, I wouldn't call it a scenic overlook. Unless you take the hiking trails, then you can find the overlook where it actually sees the lake. But maybe that's what they meant. But, and this is the boat ramp, and it's got a lot of space to park. It gets so hot, and it was during the, that was on a Tuesday, and so or a Monday probably. So they weren't. Uh, and this cracks me up. They had to put a sign there that says the road ends in the water. I guess people were driven right on in the water, lake or something. I don't know, but. Seems like you would notice a lake there before you drove into it, but maybe maybe I'm wrong. But and I guess it's good to be cautious. But so there was a few people out there on a Monday morning fishing, and uh, I don't know if they were catching or they were just fishing. But uh, yeah, what well, they always say, and I always say it too: you know, any day of fishing is better than any day at work, and so. A good place to be and there's a view from the boat ramp 
there was a boat dock back behind me. But there was a couple guys parked there, so I wasn't going to swing the camera around and catch their face on the camera. So Now from here I can because you can't see faces, but there's the dam back there. This is a little point right next to the boat ramp. And I guess somebody made put that big rock up that's standing up there and leaned up against it like a chair or something. I don't know. Sure, I didn't see it, but I'm sure there's people over here that weekend, that Sunday when I got there, I swimming and stuff. And there's a boat out there, they're fishing. Good place to, to rest and chill out. They have restrooms everywhere. And th this is a different, just down the way from the, around the corner from the boat ramp. Nice little restroom. And down that way, there was, uh, this place was loud with cars and people in the water swimming on Sunday. Getting, getting away from the heat. But that's the best way probably because you cool your whole body down getting in that water. I had the AC in my RV ro running hot that day. But I have a, one thing about my RV, it's got a good air conditioning. And even at 102, I keep it very nice and comfy inside that RV. And, and my camper, you saw it, it wasn't around trees or anything. It was right out in the sun, but it was a good one. That air conditioner takes good care of me. And the heater does, too. I used it a little bit up in the mountains in Yellowstone. It got the, almost to freezing. Matter of fact, there was frost on my vehicle one day. But uh, it's further. You can see several different spots here where you can get the people were camping and fishing and barbecuing and stuff on the Sunday. Because you can get a little shade in some places. Then there's trees here that you could probably get some shade in. Yeah, I saw a buzzard again. And if you zoom in real close, you can see his eyes. He's looking at me. I don't know. Almost everywhere I go where it's warm enough, I see buzzards. <laughs> and there's more of that view of that. Yeah, I decided to walk down there and just take a little bit of a look. Just because it's kind of good to see. But they have these big boulders parked there where to keep you from just... Keep, to keep you on your path, I guess. Here's here's what it's like down there. I mean, nice place. You can park a bunch of cars down here. It's shallow down there. You can use the kids. The whole family can have lots of fun. I remember we used to go to one of the other lakes I've done a deal on and, and get in the water. Good good way to stay cool. And, and, and if you're a parent, probably a good way for your kids to expend a lot of energy <laughs> and be tired at the end of the day. But it's not a bad place. It's pretty neat. I'd rather go see it again, maybe, when it's cooler. Maybe that's what I'll do one day. I'll go back over there when the, it's cooler. <laughs> and the funny thing is, in the mountains, I was warned about bears. Here, I was warned about skunks. Anyway, then I went to see the Blue Hole, because that's a, kind of a famous thing over in Santa Rosa. And it's okay. It's pretty neat to, to see. I'm not sure if it's quite as... Fascinating as all the height, but it's neat. I mean, I think the white ones seem to be about 10 feet deep. They're a little square down there, and the red ones are probably, or maybe backwards. The red one is 10 feet, and the white ones are 20 feet or so. That's what it looks like. But, uh, and it's neat. Uh, only certified divers get to go in there, uh, and they go dive and certified in there. Oh, then next to it is this huge this, uh, city thing where they got uh, three big, huge. Lake, uh, city lake, small lake, and one of them has all that stuff in it. You can pay and go do that. And you can you can fish here. They stock it with catfish, and uh, they encourage people to come and catch fish. But I thought I'd take a look around and fun. I mean, you could park there and have fun for the whole family for a lot of, several hours, probably if you wanted to. The ones that wanted to go bouncing the bouncing house is really extra for that. I think I didn't really go over there. Normally, you pay $5 for the parking to go see all the blue hole and this stuff, but I got up there early in the morning and off season, and no one was uh, around to pay. And so, before I went over to the blue hole, I went in the 
go to your office and ask the girl, make sure I didn't need to pay anybody. She said, nope. And so I didn't have to pay a dime. Normally it's $5 to park out there. I found, I seen some other cars parked under shade trees, so I found me a shade tree and parked and went and checked it out. And here you can see some of the little fish. There's some other fish other than just catfish in there. And I couldn't tell exactly what it was. But I saw a bigger one, but I couldn't, he was weary enough that I couldn't get him on camera. And so, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, it was kind of fun to see, to know what it's like over there, and uh, to see the lake. I might go back over there sometime and put the my Texas Minnow boat in the in the lake and see if I can't catch something. It'd be fun to try. If you like the video, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, please hit like. Thank you.